Yeah, it's February 29th, about six o'clock in the morning. Um, <clears throat> it's cold out, about 11 degrees. Cattle have been fed, but this one is uh, thinking it wants more. Um, got the 7060 idling over there in the shop. About to go start the Kubota. Going to try and haul some manure today. Um, Cause it, today, possibly tomorrow, look like my last days of hauling on frozen ground. I, I mean, not, uh, I'm gonna assume that we're gonna get more freezing temperatures, but the extended forecast, it doesn't have, uh, everything's above freezing. Um, actually, Monday, I think, is uh, high to almost 50. So, it'll be nice, but um, it'll also be bad, too, because everything is gonna, everything is gonna thaw out, turn sloppy. So, I pretty much got today and tomorrow to haul to the back um, where I had my sorghum in that other field I picked up back there. So once it thaws out, I'll start hauling across the road. So I uh, wanted to get up early this morning and um, get things started. I gotta start the Kubota. That's been plugged in for about a half hour. It probably don't have to be, I know it don't have to be plugged in, but it's just easier on it. 70-60 um, I had on the timer, that, uh, that's been plugged in for about three hours. It went off at uh, about three this morning. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna try and haul some manure. I'll probably haul till noon or one. Um, and, uh, and got some other things to do today and maybe tomorrow I'll haul again in the morning but tomorrow is supposed to start getting warm above freezing 30 high in the upper 30s and then Monday's even warmer so uh, it's supposed to get down below freezing at night <clears throat> for the extended forecast that I've seen but um, I can't haul in the morning except on the weekends so Usually it seems about 9, 10 o'clock, it starts thawing out, so, uh, so I'm, uh, trying to take advantage of today, um, I checked the manure, and now I was told you can haul frozen stuff with the nights, but, uh, that's just hard on things, so, but the one side of the pile that's got a lot of straw in it is soft, and once I start digging into the pile, it should be should be thawed out underneath so uh we'll start the Kubota and uh we'll get hauling some manure hauling first load out and heading back to uh field back in the woods that uh I picked up Actually, last year I cut the hay off it. Um, you know, work it up, see the down. Um, I'm thinking it was straight alfalfa for the cover crop of peas and oats, but uh, not 100% uh, sure. On that, yeah, we'll see how the manure hauling goes. coat this field pretty heavy because it's uh, pretty sandy so uh, we've got the night 81 24 loaded up not as full as this could be but got a decent load on it so we're gonna clear the field Uh, 
uh, one load earlier this morning. This is my second load today, but I've already hauled uh, I think two loads back here in this field. Um, it's about five acre field. Um, you can see it goes up around there a little bit. Pretty good. Um, fun to got an audience. Them guys are up there enjoying their hay, or their sorghum actually. Um, this is where the manure was all the way across, pretty much right full. And I got a pretty good dent on her started. Now this building is uh, 48 wide by 64 deep. And it's basically full, full manure. Um, the reason being, the main reason is when I first bought this place, this, this barn was empty, obviously, of manure. Um, but I had to get my cows moved out of my uncle's place um, for different reasons. So I had them locked in here, had the gates crossed like I do there, and I had the cows, I had um, the 17 cows in here, and I'd feed them in here. So that made a mess of this quick till I got the pasture built and put them out on pasture. And then um, I never had a spreader for about a year, so I kept piling and piling, and um, I finally got a spreader. That spreader's pretty small that I did have, and I could just never get ahead of the manure. It just kept piling up on me, so that's, um, now that I got the night, um, it's made, it's it's a lot better. So as you can see, this manure here has been here for a while. Probably, I'd say some of this has been here for three years in this barn. So this line kind of right here is newer stuff. But this stuff in the back back here has been here quite a while. So my plan is to, when I switch the barn over to... Uh, feed alley, scrape alley, and bedding pack as a transition barn. I think I've talked on that before. When I switch the barn over for that, um, where I'm feeding them guys there, I'll run fat cattle. And then my thought was to basically build 
I'd like to put like concrete blocks, but we'll see. Um, probably come over to about that pole, run a straight line down this building. Oh, uh, right down here, coming up there. And I'll use basically a quarter of this barn for storing manure. And then the rest of the barn will be for bedding for the fat cattle. They can come up in here and uh, and bed. And I figured I should be able to, I can feed 25 comfortably up there. So that is the plan and the hopes of the future. But I first need to get this manure out of here. Um, the other thing I need to do and thought is this is also, this is a, another spot that's got concrete that the person I bought it off of, they put this in for storing manure over here because they ran cattle in that barn. And um, my thought, like I said, I'll use some of that barn for manure storage, the rest for bedding for cattle. Um, this whole barnyard drains down right here. And this is always wet until probably July, August, it finally dries out. Um, and then of course it drains and there's a small drainage ditch across there and it drains out to my hay field. Um, this is always wet. Up here's not too bad. Um, it's kind of why I'm hauling today because um, it's froze so I can get through here. But my thought is I would like to eventually pour concrete eventually all the way from where the Kubota is all the way over to here pour this into concrete and then I can haul basically whenever it does not matter I'd have to put some limestone down to get a better road through here but um I'd like to put a lean-to off of this back of this hoop barn here and then I can put my sawdust in here so it's out of the weather and out of the way I can just have them back up in here unload it and I can shove it in with the tractor into there so that's future plans but first things first is I got to get the uh, manure hauled out of the manure barn so yeah we'll, uh, we'll go take this load and get rid of it might be my last load today um, I got some we got some stuff we gotta do with the family. Might be able to haul a couple loads this afternoon. Then I got uh, some more plans tonight. But uh, nonetheless, got uh, starting to get a dent in the manure barn and keep hauling. So uh, we'll see what happens. We'll go get rid of it. Done hauling for today. Put the spreader back back away, tucked in the hoop barn there, and um, put the 7060 back away in the shop for the night. Um, 
I gotta haul up some some wood to the wood boiler. It's about 3.30 now and um, went and did a few things with the family earlier today. I got back, I hauled one more load and and uh, I got uh, five loads in today. Not as many as I was hoping, but still a decent dent in the hoop bar or the manure barn here. Um, I'm figuring, looking at it, there's probably probably another 25, 20, 25 loads in here. I'm gonna guess maybe 30 so we'll get her spread out and um, get her on the fields I think um, it's nice out today it's, up, it's almost 30 now tomorrow's supposed to be 40 and even warmer on Monday so this all through here is gonna melt thaw out and going back to the back is gonna thaw out too so not sure how much I'll be able to spread on the back here in the next few few days but i got other fields to spread on that i can take it to so that's uh that's fine and um so yeah just glad i got some manure hauled today and cattle were out here soaking up the sun i uh, see now they're back inside um So, yeah, uh, hopefully get some more action of the manure spreader working. And uh, if anybody's got any questions on them spreaders, um, I'll try and answer them. But uh, so far, I like it. Haven't had any issues with it. Um, one thing I found, it doesn't. Not that it doesn't like it, but it doesn't do a, a real good job on it. it. Is like stuff like this. That's pretty much like that's baleage basically from along the feeder. But I don't know. Too, I don't know too many spreaders that that do like that stuff. Um, it spreads it fine. Um, I mean, it doesn't. I don't think I'd want to put a whole lot on a hay field, but. Um, it, uh, other than that, it works, works great. I'm happy with it. So, um, no complaints. So, alrighty. Well, I'm going to go haul some wood up to the wood boiler and, uh, going to, we got some more family stuff going on tonight. So go take care of that and do that stuff. So thanks for watching and, uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you like the videos. And uh, we'll talk to you guys later.